Okay, let's get right into it. I'm gonna take my Morphe palette. I will link the palette down below because I forget the number. And I'm gonna go right in with this white shadow to highlight my brow bone. Yes, I need a waxing, honey. Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this light pink as my transitional shade. I continue to build this up gradually. So what do you guys think? I got y'all up close and personal, honey, okay? trying to do something different with you know this strictly eye tutorial so hopefully I did it justice tell me what you think because I don't know if I'm feeling it yet to be honest with you so anyway continue to build this color up it takes a little time you wanted to get get it to the color you wanted to so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my sugar pill palette and I'm gonna go in with this deeper pink shade this like fuchsia shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and define that crease keep on going back and forth circular motions all that good jazz to deepen it up this is a beautiful color I kept on you know just building it up to the desired color I want I wanted this to be a nice hot pink and I wanted that to be peeking through Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, that original color and just blend out those edges a bit. Soften it up. Not too soft, because I wanted it to be harsh, but I didn't want it to blend it all the way out entirely. This is the way I love to do a beautiful, dramatic, smoky eye. I may do a series on this. I did a look like this using blue. Well, this technique using blue, I will link it. Just click the eye, but this is my favorite way to do it. I pack that lid with gel black eyeliner to get it as opaque as possible. And then I set it with a black eyeshadow. I'm using my black eyeshadow here from my Sugar Pill Palette and just pack it on. I have a lot of texture in my eye, so I always have to do a lot of work. I'm not bringing it all the way above the crease because I'm gonna take my Sigma brush and I'm gonna blend that out with no product at first and then I'm gonna dip the brush back into the black eyeshadow and then blend out even more. As you can see, it gets blended out. This takes time, guys. It's just a process, honey, okay? For real. My hand was hurting, I ain't gonna lie. Continue to blend, 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 and then you're gonna take that pink color again, that fuchsia color, and I'm gonna go over it again and just keep on blending it to, you know, I like the way it looks. That's what you do. Do what you do, baby. And this takes time again. I mean, I was going back and forth like it was nobody's business, guys. I promise you, okay? Then I'm gonna take it again my original brush and with no extra product and blend out the edges. I'm not gonna use no eyeliner today either because it's so black. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take that white eyeshadow again, put it on my eye brow bone to lighten up that pink to make it blend really seamlessly. Now clean up on aisle 10. And of course I'm going to align my waterline with the gel black eyeliner. Okay, well, first, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to do my lash line with the same colors I did above and do it on the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. And then I'm going to set that with the black eyeshadow, you know, and smoke it on out. And then, of course, I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm going to use um, my Clinique High Length, of course, and I'm going to throw some lashes on. And it's a day. Call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye now.